Hi, this is Joe DuPont, and I want to go over this concept of heat sealing with um, an iron, a conventional clothing iron, some aluminum foil. Uh, you could probably lubricate it with pan, spam or whatever the hell it is. These are scraps of um, black polyethylene. And this is some high-density polyethylene that's used on these various type of uh, water containers. And these can be actually heat sealed to the low density polyethylene um, so that um, you can let's see if I can do this yeah that looks like you can do something here so what you can do is you can take the plastic lay it down And put some aluminum foil. This is the beef up in area. Let's say you have a, um, a rip in a tarp. You can just lay down the uh, poly poly the uh, aluminum foil over it and essentially iron it. Now the key thing is to be able to cool it back off so that you don't rip the plastic as you try to take it off. And that can be done by just leaving it there and letting and then going on to another location or you could take a wet rag and help cool it off that way. I guess you could take a bag of ice. That'd be ice water and um, do it that way. So eventually, you can peel this off. I put together my um, I put together my um, greenhouse that way by wrapping this type of stuff around my hoops and then heat sealing the clear material on the plastic on the hoops. Now this is a, um, I did some over here. These are um, fixing points where I can punch holes in here and put ropes in or strings and hold this particular thing which will be eventually an inflatable hot air collector. So what you can do is you can lay this thing here and then um, this piece here which is cut out not critical. Lay it down and then use the iron to heat seal this high density to the low density and you have to do both sides because the um, this is a much higher temperature material than the uh, low density polyethylene that's used in the, uh, the bag material. Typically what they do is they put some ethylene vinyl acetate for impact, uh, low temperature impact resistance and a lot of um, a lot of um, polyethylene materials have the EVA especially like freezer bags otherwise they just split and, and break in the cold temperature. So that's what I wanted to show you. I picked up this concept with a, um, a guy who was doing farming in bags and he was complaining that the bag material um, was not stiff enough for him to uh, make decent bags to throw dirt in so he made his own and then um, I realized that you could do this and I actually use it when I'm sending books I'll wrap uh, a box up with the polyethylene and then I'll heat seal all the polyethylene together and it's like a cheap um, adhesive I mean it's not coming apart and if you put clear polyethylene over or uh, over the um, the label, uh, then you can heat seal that label right onto the right onto the uh, right onto the material. Here's the um, the reinforcement point. I didn't do one on the back, but that's uh, what we're talking about. Anyhow, um, keep on looking at this um, concept of using using um, heat sealing of the polyethylene to um, enhance uh, your projects. Like I said, you need an iron, and uh, that's it.